<laughs> Praise the Lord. Ratchet Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother W. Jr. Brother and sister, we turn our Bibles to Philippians chapter 2. We'll be looking at verses 1 to 5, and it reads, If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of the other. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. If I felt this is God's word, we give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord, and say, praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. In Philippian letter that the Apostle Paul wrote, and he writes this letter in a low-level dungeon in, in Rome, and he's under house arrest because he's preaching and teaching the gospel of grace, and he's awaiting uh, to see the, the, the king of Rome. He writes this letter, Philippians, and in the second chapter of this beautiful letter that he writes, he says, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, and to the readers, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of spirit, if any bowels from the depths of their very being and mercies, fulfill ye my joy. This joy that the Apostle Paul has. And what's this? That ye be like-minded. Now, now in the same frame of mind, having the same love. And this love that he's talking about, the love that God has for the world. You see, and, and be, be on one accord with this love, like-minded, that God loves you. That God loves you. And he says this, of being of one accord, that God loves you. Of one mind. One accord, one mind. God loves you. Then in verse 3, he says, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in loneliness of mind, let each other esteem other better than himself. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Basically what the Apostle Paul is saying, be decent to one another. Have, be, be, have dignity with one another. Uh, I mean, be compassionate to one another. Be civil to one another. Be uh, uh, respectable to one another. Have this um, mutuality, reciprocity to, to one another. You know, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said it this way in, 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 uh, during the, the Sermon on the Mount in um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, where he says, Do unto others as you would have them do to you. And then when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has his private moment with the disciples whom he loves, he, he says in um, uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 31, do one to others as you would have them to do to you. And so basically, this is what the Apostle Paul is saying. But to be, uh, to have, be decent and show dignity and respect and, and, and regard one another and, and, and be civil and compassionate to one another. And then he goes in, in, in verse 5. Let this mind, that, that mindset, when you know how much God loves you, and then when you know how much God loves you, you'll be decent to one another. You'll be uh, show dignity to one another. You'll have respect for one another. You'll have regards for one another. You'll have compassion for one another. You'll have civility to one another when you let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Have this mindset. That was in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. When you have this mindset, this mindset when, uh, when, uh, when, when towards God, when you know he loves you and want to treat people with decency and respect and civility, you have this mindset. This is a mindset that is not going to wash away all the things that are wrong, 
all the things that the enemy is trying to put in your mind because the, the enemy wants to get in your thoughts and your mind and put fear and put anxiety and put worry. But when you have this mind in Christ, the mind in Christ is going to push away fear. It's going to push away anxiety. It's going to push away worries. It's going to push away all these uh, things that are wrong about God. And then when you have this mind that oh, is in Christ Jesus, it's going to set you where your thoughts are going to be the thoughts that is going to determine your emotions. And your emotions is going to be of joy. And then that, that emotion is going to now determine your decisions that you make. And then uh, when your decisions are made of, of, of because your emotion is filled with joy, because you're thinking on things of the mind of Jesus Christ, and, and the decisions are going to now uh, uh, determine the actions you're going to take. And then the actions that you're going to take because you have the mind of Christ and you're filled with joy and you the, the, uh, it makes your decisions things of God and, and, and your actions uh, uh, are going to be determined, determined, your, 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 the, the habits that you're going to take and those habits that is going to be built is going to shape your character. And when your character is shaped, it is now going to determine the walk that you have. Because why? Because you have the mind of Christ and the enemy is, is, is will, will do everything in his miserable existence to have your thoughts to the things that are not of God. He will get you to think on things like, like when, when there's no grace, that God is mad at you, that God is, uh, is angry with you. But when you know the grace of God, when you know that God loves you with an agape love, it has a powerful effect to wash away all the wrong things that is not of God. And, 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 and it will touch your emotions when you're thinking of the things of God and you will feel the emotions of, of joy, peace, long suffering, the, the gentleness, goodness, faithfulness and, and, and mercy and, and a disciplined mind when you have the thoughts and the mind of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how much he loves you and it will and this is the joy that the Apostle Paul was experiencing that he wants the, the readers to experience when they have their mind on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and when you have your mind on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ no wrong thing is going to be in the way all it's going to be is the things of God and God is going to be glorified you are going to be edified and the kingdom of darkness, praise the Lord, is going to be nullified. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constitution. you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which will be able to build you up in heritage. To those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you false in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, said this in John chapter 8, verse uh, 32. He said, whom the son sets free is free indeed. And it's the truth that's going to set you free. At truth. See, the, the truth sets you free. A lie keeps you in bondage. But the truth in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when you have this mind, in emotion, in emotion, when you have this mindset that the truth will set you free and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And when you have this mindset in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there ain't, there ain't no lie. There ain't no false doctrine. There ain't no uh, uh, false gospel that could withstand the truth of God. And all you have to do is believe on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that that believing on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will have a powerful effect with all the lies and it, it, it push that away and all will stand is the truth of God when you have your mind on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who loves you. Praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Agape, <laughs> I should do a praise the Lord dance. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs>